As it's a new year this past week, I decided it's time to dust off the old 3U and the Wii U. Finish what I started. That means finishing killing the Lucent Nargacuga, the Savage Devil Joe, and the one that I can't pronounce, the laggy that is in the Abyssal or something. These are the three monsters left for me to fight in 3U, and they have walled me hard. In fact, when Sunbreak came out, I was like, I kind of took that as an excuse to be like, I'm going to go play over there and then about six seven months have passed and so i went and i hate this so much the rust was so real i couldn't even last like two minutes but everything is so slow in 3u i completely forgot everything and now that i've played around with the lance in sunbreak i figured i think the lance is the way to go to kill lucent narga in 3u because my problem is I can't dodge most of his attacks because he's so fast. So I figured shields up and I can just block everything and poke, poke, poke. So anyways, while that is cooking in the oven, I figured it's time before this drags on for five years that I make a monster rank list because let's face it, I've fought all the monsters except uh, for the Abyssal Lagia Cruise, which I mean, how many of you have actually fought it? So anyways, I have here a one of these things, Tear Maker, that I found. It exists. It's a template out there. In fact, at the end, we're going to see what the community ranks are for these monsters. Now, they've already kind of selected these ranks, which I'm okay with S rank A, B, C, D. S++, I, I'm actually, I, I don't think we need an S++. You know what? We're going to create a trash tier. There we go. And the way that we're going to categorize these monsters are entirely subjective on my opinion of them, my enjoyment, my love of their name, their design, their attacks, how they treated me as a Switch Axe user. I'm also going to criticize this tier list again because I think this is the worst, not the worst way, but this is not a great way to showcase the monsters. Like, look at this guy right here. Uh, what's his what's his face and I might be drawing blanks on some of these monsters as it has been a while it would have been nice if the names were on here but I guess we're gonna use this out a little bit of a test of can hey J remember the name starting off here with dire Morales this one this one belongs in the upper uh, ranks here because Dire Morales was a fantastic fight. First of all, he's a black dragon. He is massive. He is epic. And the fight was just really fun. Uh, the only reason I wouldn't put it at S rank is simply because he was a little bit forgettable as a fight. I think I got him on my first try or second try. That's the only thing. Otherwise, he's got, I think, the skeleton. I think I totally named the wrong monster. Is that? That's Dire Morales. <laughs> Anyways, Agnactor actually goes up to S rank because Agnactor was one of my favorite monsters from the 3U. I love his name. I love saying the name, Agnactor. Uh, I love his chomp, chomp, chomp. And I just love how he moves. He looks cool. I love that you can break apart pieces of his armor off of him and then he gets all the squishy parts. He's just a really cool monster. And this is what I love fighting, looking at. And it's the type of monster you're like, I want to wear you. Uh, next up, we've got Berioth. Berioth has caused me much grief. And so I'm wondering where to put Berioth. Now, Berioth is starting to grow on me as this iconic monster that, um, I mean, I do love how he looks and I am understanding how to take him down better, which is you break his his arms and stuff. And there's so much to break on him. His arms, his tail, his face, and it just feels so satisfying. But he gets a B and not an A because of his, of his silly bouncing. If he wasn't bouncing so much, I'd put him up there. Uh, next, we have Baroth. I think it's a Baroth because I can't see its head. I'm going to put Baroth again, B. B for Baroth, B for Baroth. I enjoy Baroth. Um, he's no A rank, which is the only reason I can't put him there. Like, I just feel he's he's a nice average monster. I don't really have much criticism for him. He's just a nice, safe fight. Uh, next, we've got the, I believe that is called the Cetus, if I remember correctly. Cetus had awesome music but it's an underwater fight. Again, I'm torn here between A and B for him. He's 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 a spectacle and what do I do with Cetus? Do I put him in an A or do I put him in a B? I can't say the fight was very fun because it's underwater. It's slow and you're constantly getting like smacked around by him, but his beard is epic, which I want to give him an A. 
Like, if I could give him a B plus, he'd fit in as a B plus. But it's like, do I bump him up to an A? If all of you were like, let's go hunt Cetus, I wouldn't be like, hey, let's do it. So it's going to be a B. Now, I feel that because I already gave my spiel on Dire Morales, we should uh, rank him properly. So like I said, he belongs there as an A. Uh, next, we go with Devil Joe, which you can only see his tail here. Devil Joe in 3U is terrifying. And so he gets points for living up to his reputation of being what he's supposed to be. Uh, this terrifying thing that just shows up and messes things up. H super hard fight. Super iconic. Devil Joe, you belong here with Dire Morales. This kind of looks like a weird centipede monster. Next up, Diablos, my friend Diablos. He wasn't as impactful to me in 3U as he was in World. So I think we're going to put Diablos in B. Now this boy, you guys know where he's going. For the leech, I don't even remember his name. It's, that's how much I dislike this thing. What is his name? I'm gonna have to, hang on, let me, let me, Giganox, you are trash. I hate fighting this thing. I fought this thing so much. I hate doing it as a team. I hate doing it solo. I just do not like Giganox. Trash. Next up. Oh boy, I don't remember this boy's name either. I did not fight this one a lot. As you can see, I, I avoided a lot of the underwater monsters. I would not pick an underwater monster if I didn't need to. I not a big fan of hunting him but he is so cool gobul goes up there and this is just the baby gobul so so i've heard so i would love to see what a real like massive gobul is one day as as a terrifying monster oh look at that smiley boy all right next up we got the great i think this is the great baggy yes it is you know what i really don't like fighting that thing okay so laggy i mean laggy is the icon is an icon of the series of this specific title i actually really do like how he looks i love his armor i prefer fighting him on land he gave me my first failed quest in 3u super iconic probably one of the better fights honestly now that i think about it underwater so and and also a, a terror and a menace when i come across him so as much as i want to say i'm not a fan of like fighting him because he hurts me so much i'm gonna put laggy as an A, because he's a good boy. He's a good monster. And if you want to learn how to fight these good monsters, make sure you hook yourself up with some Brilliant.org. And they happen to be our sponsor for today's video. So thank you to Brilliant.org. They're an awesome educational website, which you might be like, whoa, hold up, hey, Jay. You push an education on me? Yes. If you're playing Monster Hunter, you are probably running a ton of spreadsheets, a ton of numbers, trying to optimize. And if your math ain't up to snuff, you need some brilliant.org in your life so that you can run those numbers, optimize your sets, and slay those tough monsters. So luckily, brilliant.org has thousands of courses with new ones being added every month that you can check out. Uh, there's math courses, logic courses, statistics courses, all stuff, all sorts of stuff like that. It's not a textbook where you got to read and there's just a wall of text. You can actually interact with the widgets, understand how things work. And to me, I really like the logic courses because I tend to like logic puzzles and I've seen enough math in my life that that I would rather focus more on the logic things. And the good news is if you click on the link in the description below, as well as the comment, the first 200 of you will get 20% off if you choose to get an annual premium subscription. Now you can use brilliant.org for free and check out the courses, but if you want that premium subscription to unlock more courses and more abilities to get the big brain status to hunt more monsters, that's a cool discount for you to check out. So do check that out if you're interested. And otherwise, let's get back to ranking these monsters. Oh man, what's the honker called? Pa it starts with a P. It doesn't start with a P, it starts with a Q. <laughs> Kurupeko, man, this bird gave me so much trouble when I first met him. He is, I love his design because he is funny. He is also an icon of 3U for me. What I don't like was the bouncing, um, but that was a problem in early game because I didn't have enough sharpness on my weapon. You know what? I can't put you next to these legends, Kurupeko. You know what? Yes, I can. Kurupeko, you go next to those legends. You are definitely an A. All right, Rathalos. I mean, Rathalos is always kind of a good time. I really don't have anything. I, I enjoy Rathalos in every iteration of the game, so he goes there. He, uh, Rathian, my queen, as much as I love you, you and I have, have kind of developed a relationship that's kind of grown a little stale. So B is where Rathian goes. No hate on Rathian. She just belongs there. Uh, then we've got Urugan. Urugan, I think is his name. Uh, love the big chin. Love you more here than world. But you go, you go in the B. Bracadios, my punchy boy. I love him because of his weapon. Uh, just the weapons he gives. If it wasn't for his weapons, I don't know if I would have hunted him as much. And I feel I develop more of a relationship with him here than in world. 
simply because world everything was new. And here, Bracadillos. I don't know. It, well, I definitely saw him. I hunted like 30, 30 versions of him. I'm going to put him in. Whoops. No, no, no. You're not trash. You're A. That's where Bracadillos goes. Next, we've got the Golden Cetus. I did not like this boy. I did not like him at all. You get a D. Also, farming him probably scarred me a little bit. Next, we've got the Rusty Durham Burrows. Rusty Durham Burrows. I had enough Durham Burrows without him needing to be this rusty thing. I'm going to put you at C because I prefer Durham Burrows over Rusty Durham Burrows just by color alone. Here we have the Ivory Laggy. I did not fight this one so much. I don't like the white as much as the blue. Blue is one. I think blue is my favorite color. So la the Ivory Laggy fought once. Much easier fight. Didn't leave much of an impression on me. You're going to be a B because you're still, you've got a cool skeleton and everything. Lucent Narga Kuga. I honestly dislike this thing so much, not just because it's walling me, but I am not enjoying the fight because I keep getting slammed by his tail. Uh, he disappears, shoots poison darts at you. Even though I have immunity to poison, the darts still do massive damage. This guy is scarring me so much. I'm just not enjoying this fight at all. Like, I'm, I'm not enjoying hunting this, this thing. And so it's between a C and a D just from my own personal taste. I actually look forward to fighting him in Sunbreak because he looks a lot more interesting to me in Sunbreak. But for the amount of punishment he's given me, uh, but I do respect you a little bit. So I'm going to give you a C. Next, we've got Plesioth. I love those thighs. Plesioth, I put you down here because of... Oh, man, I don't like fighting you, but the thighs. Ah, uh, Plesioth for your reputation. I'm going to put you at C as well. Uh, what is this? Is this an Azure Rathalos? So the blue gives him more points than Rathalos, but the fact that he's always up in the air docks him a few marks. So I'm going to have to put him here within the B zone. Uh, the pink Rathian, she's too toxic for me. I'm going to put her... I actually prefer base Rathian over pink Rathian. Uh, pink Rathian, you get a C. Next, we've got... I think this is the Stygian Zenoker. This thing was brutal. I did not like fighting this. Um, I find base Zenoker already way more interesting, so you get a C. Uh, next, we got the great Jaggy. I mean, he's the great Jaggy. He's your first opponent. I can't, I can't put him down too low. He's, he is what he is. He's a C. <laughs> what is this? Is this the bunny? I like the bunny. La Lagambi, you get a B. Black Diablos, you're a D. I don't like Black Diablos at all. I'm not gonna go and call her trash, but man, I just don't like I don't like Black Diablos. She is mean, she is fast, uh, and she is horny. All right, uh, the next one is the base Nargakuga. Really appreciate Nargakuga a lot more in this game. Way more of a threat. And I do enjoy it more than the the whatever this one is. So Nargakiga, you get a B. I, I wouldn't put it as an A. Not that great for me. Ice Agnac. I think that's an Ice Agnactor from what I can tell. Uh, also S rank. I love my Agnactor. Same reason. I mean, everything I said about the fire version is true for the ice version as well. Agnactor is just a fantastic monster. And I wish that they would come back. Sand Baryoth is garbage. Actually, trash. I, I hate Sand Baryoth. He's everything I hate about Baryoth, dialed up with a worse color, and he has Sand Tornadoes. No thank you. Don't like Jade Baryoth. I do prefer Jade Baryoth, but not to the point, not to the point of putting him higher. He's on, he's on par with his B. Oh, our B section is getting a little thicker here. Durham Burrows. I love Durham Burrows. He was a fun fight. Uh, you're getting an A. Durham Burrows was great. He's everything you expect. He's a mountain. He feels like a mountain. He's got his helicopter. <laughs> love his helicopter move. I love that you can like carve, uh, ping out of the back. I just love everything about him. This is, I think, the the electric Boogaloo um, uh, Giginox. You can put that in the trash. Oh, this is a green Plesioth, by the way. I just realized both of them are pretty equal uh, in my eyes. So both get Cs. Uh, next, we've got Purple Ludroth. I really did enjoy Purple Ludroth. Not A, but like, nice, nice safe. We've got the green Nargakuga, which gave me a really hard time. <laughs> really hate that tail. You're getting a C. Oh, my nibble snarf. 
you know where I'm putting my Nibble Snarf. Nibble Snarf is probably one of my favorite monsters of 3U, up there with the Agnactors. I love his name, I love his big stupid face, his fight is fun, he's got cool mechanics. I can't think of anything bad about Nibble Snarf, except for the fight where he's a massive Nibble Snarf, that's kind of BS. That's the only thing I can, but like normal Nibble Snarf? Where is Nibble Snarf? We need him in a new game. That that boy was fantastic. Uh, Crimson. Crimson Kuropeko. Oh, man. I did not like you. And I already gave Kuropeko an A. Crimson, you're going to get a C. You're not even average. You're just a pain in my butt. Uh, Silver Rathalos. I would... I think I prefer it to Azure Rathalos. He does have a, his freaking, like, I'm going to fly around the arena. But still, he, he makes up for it with a lot of cool stuff. So we're going to give you a B. Uh, next up, we've got, I think this is the Steel Uragon. Honestly, it feels the same as an Uragon. So we're going to put this boy as a B as well. Golden Rathian. I really enjoyed this fight because I feel I'm getting very close to mastering it. And by very close, I mean just closer than all the other monsters. This was really satisfying because it didn't give me as much trouble as I thought it would because I was just so comfortable with the Rathian fight. And I really enjoyed it because it's it's a more like dialed up fight of Rathian and it's more satisfying when I win. So Golden Rathian gets an A. The Great Rogi with the one that poisons is the worst of the three in my eyes. So you get a D. Zenogre is a favorite. I got to put Zenogre up top. Fantastic soundtrack. Just really fun fight. Moves fast. Beautiful design. I like, I just like everything about him except when he hits me. Oh, Alatreon. Alatrea, man, you did not, you did not start off well. Like the, the problem here is I tasted Alatrea in World and that was a journey, an adventure, and I really loved him here, or there. Here, he was definitely a step down. I think he, he feels like a B, like he feels like a very safe, steady, middle of the road, black dragon experience. Dire Morales left a better impression on me as a black dragon in this game was just more iconic, more epic. Alatreon just, um, I didn't really like care for the fight that much. It was hard, it was challenging, but his move set, his presence just wasn't quite there for me. So that's why he gets a B. Uh, next up we've got Arzuros. Arzuros is what it is. I, I actually really enjoy Arzuros. Arzuros is like my poo bear. Um, he's not special enough to be an A, just my nice safe poo bear that loves to give hugs. I really enjoy Arzuros. Great, not the great, it, it is the great Ludroth. I did enjoy great Ludroth in this game a lot more than in Rise. I think he is introduced a lot more, like he's just be better introduced, better fight. He has more threat with the underwater segment, but he's not like, crazy better from his purple variants, so he gets a B as well. Um, Volvidon is also safe middle of the road. He's basically Arzuros with a tongue. Uh, Genmaran, Genmaran, Genmaran is a really epic fight that I do have to put up here in the A because it is so iconic uh, as a team. I wouldn't put him up there as a solo fight, but he's, all, he's a siege fight. He's not meant to be taken solo. And then we've got the hollow, hollow Gemron. To me, really um, didn't leave much of an impression on me. I was very disappointed with the hollow Gemron. So I'm going to put that as a, like, why does it even exist? And then finally, the I, uh, the Abyssal Laggy. This is the one that you're, you could argue that he doesn't deserve to be ranked yet because I haven't fought him. He does have a really cool look, I have to say. He looks awesome. But he's going to be a full underwater fight. He's probably going to be disgustingly punishing. And I doubt he's going to be as cool of an experience for me as the original Laggy is. So for now, he's going to go as a C. Stay tuned for where the Abyssal Laggy is going to end up when I eventually fight him in the next five years. So that is my ranking. Let's see now what the community said on all of this. Why is Nibble Snarf so low? What is with the hate against Nibble Snarf? So over at the top, of course, of course, Lagia Cruz is here. He's, you know, it's the only game you can fight him in. I'm really curious to see the Kuropeko so high up. Devil Joe, I can understand. Baroth and Barioth as S++. These surprise me a lot. Not expecting that there. And the Royal Ludroth as an S++. Wow. Those are weird. I don't understand those. Elytron, I can understand 
people loving him and being there. Rathian, I can also understand. She's a fantastic fight, even if our relationship is a little bit dull. S, this is pretty much um, my my like S plus. You've got uh, Agnactor here, the Cetus. I can understand people loving the Cetus. Um, Gold Bull, of course, is is loved. I don't know why Greyjack. I feel this is a troll, but I I do find it funny that the Crimson Kurupeko is so much lower than the base Kurupeko. Like I completely understand that. Also happy to see Giginox nice and low. Get that thing out of here. And uh, Gem Moran, I'm surprised to see the community put him so low as well. So I feel those differences when I see those gaps that line up with mine. Uh, I get it. So if you want to try this yourself, uh, I'll drop the link to the tier maker so you can make your own. And please share it with uh, with me and the rest of the community in the Discord. I think you can join the Discord with discord.gg slash heyj. That'll take you to our Discord and our community. Uh, you can save this as a picture and you can share it up to the Discord. Let's see how you rank your 3U monsters. And uh, I look forward to seeing you on future streams or on the next video here on this channel. And until next time, keep it classy.